Yesterday, of course, in the studio, and I had the laying on of hands from Brian Tamaki, we spoke to Destiny Church leader Brian Tamaki and his, indeed, um, uh, his wife Hannah, who announced at Parliament a new political, let's call it an entity, Freedoms New Zealand, which was designed to be, or which they hope will be, this coming together, this coalition of right-wing conservative, maybe some would say Christian parties, and they reached out to the new Conservatives, they reached out to Democracy and Z, Matt King's outfit, and they reached out to the Outdoors Party. But they'd only done a deal with uh, Wellington Millionaires Party, uh, uh, Mike Jacome's new national, national, new national party. Um, so the whole thing looked like it was pretty dead in the water, to be honest, and I thought the Tamakis were being wildly optimistic. A, about the chance of getting all those disparate parties and egos together, and uh, B, um, of even if they did have any chance at the ballot box. I see stupidly the mainstream media and even Chris Luxon are playing the game, would you do a coalition deal with Brian Tamaki? Ridiculous journalism and actually ridiculous of Chris Luxon to involve. This thing is only an idea that may never get past the idea stage, to be brutally frank. So I don't know why... He was bothering engaging, and I don't know why the journalists were so naively uh, asking such a silly question, to be brutally frank. But one thing is clear, the Outdoor Party, or, or something, or Outdoors Freedom uh, Party, uh, led by Sue Gray, uh, controversial lawyer Sue Gray, uh, it, Brian Tamaki presented that they were in. They were just dotting the I's and crossing the T's. Well, Sue Gray, who's on holiday in London, um... I don't think she is going to sign, and uh, quite clearly, oh, it's the Outdoors and Freedom. You've got to have freedom in your party name now. Um, it doesn't look like that deal is going to be done. So we are joined now by the Outdoors and Freedom Party President, Alan Simmons. Alan, welcome to the platform. Thank you for joining us. Yes, good morning, Sean. That was an interesting introduction. Well, well, look, look it's just calling it as I see it. I went down to that uh, Destiny Church rally at Parliament the other day, and that's pretty much what it was. And I'll tell you what, Brian Tamaki was giving the impression, as I said, that you guys were all but dating, you know? They already yeah. reached first or second base. Was that a lie? Well, I'm not sure what he actually said because I never heard it. He I, said, I he said the Outdoors Party, and I've got a pretty good memory, he said the Outdoors Party... We're in the process of signing an agreement in London. Uh, just waiting to hear back from London, but the deal was done. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, it was far from that. Um, all that's happened is that we had been in talks with him to find out what the um, structure of his new idea he's got and, and, you know, all that sort of due diligence that you need to do. Um we certainly, um, as a party, we need to bring our members along with us. And so, um, you know, obviously we need to have our board approve it and then we would have to How have How many members, members do you have? We have 24,000 members. Is so that 24,000 signed up financial members? Is that 24,000 followers on Facebook? No, no, not on Facebook. Actual members. Okay, and so we have we have a massive job trying to consult with those sort of numbers to start with, but our board hasn't even um, discussed it and uh, approved going forward. Uh, we've just had an idea uh, put to us. We really didn't know much about. Um, in fact, we didn't even know that he was talking about a. Uh, New Zealand Freedom is it NZ Freedom Party? Yeah, Freedoms NZ. Freedom NZ. Yeah, or something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so what? Two weeks ago, we didn't even know about it. So I wrote um, to Brian uh, last Sunday, I think it was, um, and said to him that um, we were happy to continue talking, but he shouldn't be using us as a uh, Ooh, people so you had actually said, don't jump the gun here. Yes, yes, I wrote to him on Sunday, and uh, he rang me on Monday, um, and we had a discussion. I said, well, look, we're not there. 
Um, we haven't talked to anybody, any members or any uh, even our board, and therefore um, I said it's not that we're out, but we're not in either. We're right. just, um, Alan, can you places. see the logic of taking all these disparate parties somewhere out on the right and bringing them together in the hope that they can get 5% and some of their people will get into Parliament? Because otherwise, I'll be brutally frank, um, none of you got a snowball's chance in hell. No, and, and I think we we have probably a greater understanding than a lot of them. We, uh, we fought Tauranga. Um, we've, we've done three elections now. Yeah. Um, All unsuccessfully. Yeah, Tauranga, we did get 5%, though, which is a very interesting in, in, a, in a tough uh, national-based electorate. So we did do pretty well. and um, But we have a very big range of policies, that, proper policies, not just statements. Okay. You know, well, what are, you, what are your proper policies? Your anti ten eighty? Oh yes, but that's only part of. Um, what do you think of five G? Where are you on the five G? You got a five G policy? Yes, we were pretty much against five G. Why? Um, sorry. Why? Oh, a whole lot of reasons. So well, the world. Well give me one. Give me two reasons you're against five G. Well, one of the reasons we were against 5G is, of course, the um, uh, medical problems, but also... Well, the what, fact uh, what, well, well, what be... medical problems with 5G? Oh, look, Brian, I've... Um, I mean, sorry, uh, sure. Sure, well, I've... <laughs> yeah, well, I've kind of uh, moved on from there and... Well, um, hang on, if it's still a policy <laughs> and you've moved on, get rid of it as a policy. I'm just trying to figure out what the problem is with yeah, 5G. Yeah, I forgot a lot of it, but it has a lot of burning effects. We bought a um, international professor out, and he went around New Zealand giving talks, um, and it was really interesting. But the biggest uh, thing that I was concerned about was the fact that these um, cell towers were going up every hundred meters in towns in front of people's houses, and. Um, that was a big worry for, for me to, to suddenly have um, these these towers being put up right in front of your house. I mean, you'd, okay. you'd be horrified. You certainly okay, would I guess that's a planning that's a planning there. and resource consent uh, issue, I guess. Okay, let's move on from the 5G, the anti-1080. What other are your, are your big policies? You're anti-three oh, waters, but everyone's anti-three waters. Act and national no, give you. Our biggest, our biggest policies were based around health and um, the environment, uh, w uh, fresh water. Um, okay, and what uh, are those, those policies? policies? What keep, are those, keep those fresh, policies? Keep fresh, keep fresh water fresh. Um, we have a lot of policy. Fresh water is by its nature, fresh. very nature, fresh water is fresh. Well, it's not very fresh in a lot of rivers we fish in, Sean. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, you know, we, we, we've we got a very broad range of policies. You go and have a look on our page. We used to have um, um, uh, committees set up for all the different subjects, and we went through some very extensive um, processes to arrive at our policies. Yeah. And so what I'm trying to say is that, you know, we're, we're, we've been painted a fair bit into this freedom, uh, not so much the freedom, but into this nutcase corner by the mm. media. Yeah. And, um, but in actual fact, we're, we're, we've been established, what, eight or ten years now? Yeah. And um, have a very big membership, and we have some pretty reasonable um, policies and ideas. And so okay. my question is, how do we amalgamate those into a, um, a sort of a coalition where actually... The only one of those mentioned as a party was, um, um, who were they? They were uh, Michael Jacoum's yeah, party. Yeah, the New Na Nation or New National Party. Well, they're not a party either. They're not a party. No. They're, they're, they're just a loose coalition at this stage. They haven't um, yeah. made it. So it sounds to me, uh, well, Alan, could I ask you what the reaction was? from your membership and from your fellow members of the party, when Brian Tamaki comes out and jumps the gun and says you guys are dating? 
Well, it has been a wee bit of a concern for me because there does seem to be a love-hate relationship um, by the general public around the Tamakis. And I've seen some of the good they've been doing as we've just sort of got to know them. Um, but we, yeah, we have had a few people just up and resign because they were so upset at the thought oh, wow. that we were doing a deal with the Tamakis, yeah. Yeah, and the last couple of days has been pretty busy dealing with the um, the fallout. The, the fallout. Have that, you actually yeah. talked to the Tamakis in the last couple of days since the since no, the rally? Oh no, I haven't, and um, I haven't at all. Yeah. Okay. Um, and just as a matter of interest, I'm, I'm the president of the party. I used to be the co-leader. I'm now president, yeah. Yeah. Um, and I started the whole outdoors party. So. Yeah. Just yeah. so you know, oh, all right, yeah, 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 yeah. And I get that's that's why we're talking to you. When is Sue Gray back from holiday in Britain? She's coming back on the twenty fourth of September. That's oh, okay. when we have our have our uh, big planning meeting, and we were going to discuss the issue of do we join any sort of coalition at that meeting. Um, Sue's talking to. Uh, a big conference in Vienna, I think, on the 18th, and then coming straight home from Okay, what's there. the conference um, on in Vienna? Uh, actually, I couldn't read. Okay. I couldn't read the poster. All right, all right. German. Can I just, I just want to check another thing, because you guys have changed. You used to be like the shoot and fishing party, didn't you? You did, a, yep. a previous iteration was involved with Peter Dunn. Um, yep. You seem to have moved a little bit in terms of focus. Does the party have a position on fluoridation of water? Oh, yes. We're and certainly against fluoridation. Oh, you're against fluoridation. Do you personally yeah. believe in chemtrails? Me personally? Yeah. I'm, I'd have to honestly say no. Okay, good on you. All right. Um, mm. And at right no, now, as of this moment, what percentage chance would you give some sort of coalition or amalgamation with this new grouping? Having um, dealt with the flak over the last couple of days, I would say probably nil. Um, it's, nil, it's, it's okay. It's pretty obvious, pretty obvious from our members that they... There is no appetite for this. Yeah. No, no, And I, look, I really, you know, in a way I'd like us to sort of move a bit more back towards our, our roots and... Um, um, this freedom thing has captured everything in the wrong way, I feel, um, because the media has really um, made the word a bit, a bit um, controversial. Well, um, certain media have decided that using the word freedom means fascism. I know, but without freedom, you ain't going anywhere. If you haven't got freedom, you. you're not going fishing or hunting or... Um, or, or even walking in the outdoors. So, you know, it's a bit of a conundrum, isn't it? Alan, can I ask you, do you feel like the outdoors party has been hijacked by people who are are a little nutty and a little loony? No, I don't think so. I think uh, we, we've got some really, really good members. Um, no, we, we if, if we came to any of our meetings, it's all pretty normal. Yeah. Um, it, it really is, and that's why I say I almost think we need to try and reclaim our space again. And um, Well, I, I think it's a pretty crowded market people. where you're sitting, that's the truth of it. There are parties popping up all over the place. Oh, there? I heard the two more yesterday, Sean. Yeah, really? Uh, yeah. I missed that. <laughs> no, I heard of some of the I was at the meeting and I said there's two more parties indicated to us. Oh, well, 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 they're not parties yet. Yeah. They're, they're people with Facebook pages. Hey, Alan, I thank yeah, you so yeah. much for your time and your uh, honesty um, and forthrightness this morning. It's been nice having you with us. Good luck. Okay, sure. All right, talk to you later. Bye-bye. Cheers, Bye. mate. Um, all right, that's the president of the Outdoors and Freedom. Freedom, you've got to have freedom in your name, party, uh, Alan... Uh, Simmons and what did he say? He said, frankly, nil chance. Nil chance we'll join the new coalition. So why is Chris Luxon bothering to talk about it? Why are the so-called political journalists bothered um, to ask questions about it? You just got to figure out what the story is, folks. Honestly, it's easy. You are on the platform.